Hey everyone, Gromies Pixels here and welcome back to Let's Build a Beginner's Guide. So in the last part, we just finished off the floor plan and just basically fin finished off the house and everything from here is just, you know, the details and all the fun stuff. I find after the, getting the floor plan figured out, everything from there is even more fun than just building it itself. So one of you guys did comment on the last part, I think it was, and I'm really sorry, I cannot remember who, but on the floor plan itself, which is linked down below in the description bar for you guys, uh, you guys said that the diagonal right here is actually supposed to be up here. And I had actually tested it in multiple different ways um, on the last part, but I just did, I cut some of it out and everything. But I found that putting it right here and everything is the best usage of space. When it was up here, you lost quite a bit of square footage and it didn't give as much space, if that makes sense. Uh, so I am just going to keep it like this and I prefer it that way, honestly. I mean, obviously with this, you guys can build it however the heck you wanna build it. If you wanna f follow the floor plan to a T, you go ahead and you can totally do that. But for me, I think I'm gonna keep it like this because I personally like it like that. So yes, anyways, so in this part, we are going to work on the garage. We gotta figure this out. We gotta make this a split level. So I'm gonna start off by deleting uh, the doors and deleting this. Uh, so you're going to go in and we're first going to start off with deleting the garage. Whoops, not that. Gre <laughs> deleting the foundation of the garage. I also need to remember to keep in mind for a door out into here. So I need to make a little like landing area and I think I'm going to make that a two by two. So this area right here is going to stay and then this part is going to go. So this is our little landing area and then we'll add stairs later and probably put like the car area right here. So this is basically what we'll be working with. What you're going to do is go into control shift C and I'll type this down below for the, like the instructions of getting to the command cheat area. And you're going to type in testing cheats enabled, whoops, enabled true. And then you're also going to go in and type in constrain floor elevation false. Basically what this cheat is going to do is allow for us to change the different variances of the floor levels and their elevation. So once you enter that in, although nothing will look really different, you're going to go into the wall tool and you know that area where we deleted a whole bunch of the foundation, we're going to go and draw right below that. So we're going to pop down a level, go and draw right here, bring it across, and then also meet it up on this side. When you pop back up, it's going to look super scary, <laughs> but do not freak out, it is a-okay. Uh, so what we're going to go do is go to the terrain tools, and it's just like this little shovel and hill. And we're going to go to the level terrain button, which is a line and then the two arrows. And it will give us this green little square. We're going to go from the foundation right here and drag it just across this way. And drag it down until it looks kind of normal. And you can just drag from anywhere that there is foundation. Whoops, there we go. And I like to go across multiple times just to make sure that, you know, everything's dandy and looking good. So just dragging it across and I just do this mul like multiple times, like a couple times and I think we're good. Now, if you go to add a door, you're going to be very confused. If you go and add a garage door, it's going to do this thing and you're like, whoa, whoa, how are we supposed to see the door then? Well, I'll show you guys. <laughs> uh, so we're going to delete that and go over and delete, we're gonna get the sledgehammer tool. I didn't know if I wanted to use the wall tool or the sledgehammer. We're going to use a sledgehammer and you're going to delete this bottom row. So I'm going to delete right here and all the way over and then just make it curb around on one side. Then you're going to take the wall tool again and drag it across. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Drag it, oh my gosh, my mouse is being weird. No, nope. there we go. And then you're going to pop up to the next level like this. And you're going to take the train tools again and go to the level train. And from the floor piece right here, you're going to bring this across. And you may have to go in and add some more floor pieces for it to work. And do this. And just keep dragging it across just to make sure like everything is 
level and beautiful and yeah. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to delete these pieces, delete this. As you'll see, there's some glitching down here. So what we can do to fix that is go back to the train tools, grab our little green square and just drag it across to the triangle from the foundation. And you will see that it will cause some weird splitting. There's really no way at all to get rid of this. It's just what it is. And you can use different uh, wall textures, which I'll show in a second. Um, but I put it on the sides so that when you put the door here, if we hadn't deleted on the sides, the splitting would have been in the front. So if you go and add a garage door, there. Now it's beautiful and it looks good and you can walk through it. It's amazing. Um, so there's a couple different ways that you guys can cover this up. We can put foliage right here, or we can um, put certain wall textures. If you go and do regular horizontal siding, it will cause this, which isn't a big deal. There's other ways that we can cover it up. Uh, so if you really, really want to use horizontal siding, that's what's gonna happen. Or you can also use vertical siding. Well, that's a bad example. Um, that's a bad example too. Where's some horizontal or vertical? vertical things. Um, if we use like this, it's not as noticeable as you can see with the vertical. So that's one thing you can do is do vertical siding if you want. Um, or we can go in and if we grab like some plants, uh, we could maybe put some ivy up the wall. Whoops, if it will, yeah, like this. And we could just put like a whole bunch of it and like layer it and everything. So then it's not as noticeable. There's a couple of things that we can do. And once we get to that part in the series, we'll, we'll deal with it. And I'm not exactly sure how we'll do it yet, but I promise it's going to look good guys. But if you can see from the front, you can't really see it. So it's not a really big deal and how the time your walls are going to be, you know, down and you're going to be moving and playing. So it's not, like I said, it's not a big deal. So that is that with the foundation. As you can see, to do a split level garage is not difficult at all. Like that took us like what? 10 minutes, seven minutes? Yeah, it's telling me like almost eight minutes. It took us like eight minutes to do that. You see how freaking easy that was? I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, so I'm going to go save. I just like to save because we just did you know, a major thing and I don't want my game to crash and then I have to go back in and redo all that. So I'm just gonna go save real quick and I'll cut until uh, I'm done saving. Okay, so we are back and ready to roll. So I think we're going to work on, mm, I don't know. I think maybe we'll work on the roofing as usually where I like to go and work on next. So I'm going based off of the picture of the house uh, that is on the website or whatever. That's what I'm going to go off of. I feel like, you know, architects, they know how to do roofing a lot better than me. Uh, sometimes I go in and change things up to what I want, but for the most part, I feel like this house is very simple with the roofing and I like it. I think it looks cute. So I usually like to start with the porch in the front part area first. And so I think we're going to take a mansard roof. That's what it's looking like to me. And we're gonna start at this edge right here. And, oh, can't intersect objects. Oh, maybe I need to delete the bathtub. Maybe it's causing issues. And we will need to delete the windows right here because the roof, the roofs will, it won't let us place if there's windows there. So we're going to take this mansard roof and start at this corner right here, drag it to this corner and then drag it across. And then we're gonna go about halfway or a little bit over halfway into the garage. This overlapping, do not worry about it. It is totally fine, it will look good, I promise. And then I like to take this little tool right here, the roof section pitch control. It is amazing, I love it so much. And you can just adjust it to what you want. So this part of the house looks pretty flat, so I'm gonna make it like this. And honestly, this is so much better than auto roof. Like I promise you, like it looks so much better. I'll do side by side shots or something uh, showing you what the auto roof looks like once we're done with this. Um, it's just so much worth it to just take the time and work on the roofing itself piece by piece. And I mean, yeah, auto roof is easy, but half the time it does not look that good. So just trust me on this. You're gonna wanna do this. So next we're going to take the tall gable roofing. That's what it looks like to me on the picture. Drag it across. Oh, okay, whoops. Oh goodness, let me rotate so I can see better. It's not wanting to flip, because I want it to look like this, but it needs to go back farther. There we go. 
like that. Ooh, yes. Okay, and then take the roof control, and it's decently high, maybe like this. Yeah, that looks good. And then we have another on the portion that sticks out right here on this little portion of the master bedroom. Uh, we're gonna, going to do the same thing. So we're going to take the tall gable roof, bring it across, and not bring it in too much, but maybe like right here. And then I think we're going to take the regular gable roof. Let me see. No, because we don't we don't want that. Uh, we're going to take the same tool, the tall gable roof that we've been using, and bring it across this part of the house so it looks like this. And then we can control each pitch of the roofing and bring it down a bit, just because like most roofs are not like this. You know what I mean? Uh, if you're doing like a specialty kind of build, this makes more sense. But for a build like this, it's a lot lower. So we're going to bring it down, bring it down a bit. And I still want to keep this kind of tall because it is decently tall. So like that. Ooh, okay. And then I think that's basically it. Uh, maybe later if we add more to the back, we'll add like a little overhang of a roof back there on the porch. But I'm not worried about that right now. We're not, we're not going to focus on that. So yeah, this is basically, <laughs> as you guys can see, like this stuff, even though it's what really changes your build and it's really what makes your house look like a house, it's really easy to do. I mean, the split level is easy and this is easy. The roofing's easy. So I think it looks really good actually. Um, so let me show you guys. Okay, so this is what the roof looks like if we did piece by piece. You know, you have so much control over it. You can make this taller if you want or we can do um, this taller. We can do whatever. But if you go in and you do auto roof and we change it to this, this is what it will give us. You'd have to go in and add stuff here. We have some weird stuff going on here. Like, this just does not look good. So this is auto roof. This is what we did. As you can see, this looks a lot more realistic and it just looks so much better. So that's why I'm always like, don't do auto roof, guys. Don't do it, don't fall for it. I promise it's so much better just to do this because yeah, no, let's go with this. Um, also, when doing roofing, a couple tips for you guys. Think about in real life, you guys have rain that comes down or snow and everything goes to the gutters. Usually gutters are lined up on the side of the roofs, right, like right here and stuff like that. And if you think about in real life, you don't want angles that are going to make water pool because on a house that would be detrimental, it could cause leaks into your house and whatnot. So you always want down angles like this. Think about if water was raining down. So it would come down like this and it'd come down this way, it hit over here. Technically for me, I really don't like this right here, but I'd have to move the roof in farther and this part right here would stick out over here. And I feel like it just doesn't look as good um, but if you guys want to do that, you guys can do that. So this right here is something I don't normally like, but we can deal with. So the water would come down here and then it would come off here. Same right here with this seam. You don't want a seam that's going to make water pool. So water would come down here, come to this corner and go down. So that's what I like to think about to make it more realistic and to make the house roof there are the houses roofs look good is just to think like that in that sense your roofs will look so much better when they have you know proper angles like this so but like i said we just followed the floor plan and it looks pretty good so i like it i think it's oh guys i'm so excited about this house um and based off the roofing of the house whoops and click the wrong button i want to change the roof pattern and this really makes a difference on your house if you always just have this base uh, pattern or whatever it's it's not fun you know and there's a lot of really cool uh, like this is like a Pell thatched roof and we have dynasty tile roofing like there's so many really cool patterns um, in here so mess around with what you want I think for this house I'll probably go with like a neutral let's see we have a slate we have wood ooh okay I like this neutral slate roof it's from the base game I think this looks good I like this uh, so yeah so then um, we're going to, I think we'll, we're making good time. I thought this was going to take longer. Oh, after you do roofs too, make sure to go in and look to see if there's any walls that have been placed because of the roofs. Just delete them. Oh, whoops. There we go. It's not a big deal. You just have to go and delete them sometimes. But yeah, so I think being that we're making good time, like I was saying, uh, let's start with doors and windows now. I'm excited for this. Oh, I'm so pumped guys. I'm so excited. Okay. So let's start with the front door. That's usually where I like to start is the front door. It kind of sets the whole theme for your house and the whole feel and look of it and the style of it. This is, you know, where it starts. This is the first thing that people really honestly see. So normally I like to do doors that have like windows in them to bring in some extra light, you know, like this. Ooh, that's actually really cool. 
I feel like that kind of might, might take up too much room though. It's too modern. I want something with a bit of like traditional style. But if we do a two piece or a two tile door, it makes it off centered and I don't really like that. It looks odd no matter where you put it. So I think we're gonna have to go with a single tile door. Let's see. Uh, this door is cool, but not for this house. Um, also, I want to avoid using custom content. I might still use a little bit of it, but any custom content that I do use in this house, whether it's decor or landscaping or whatever, I will link it down below in the description bar so you guys can have it too. Um, but I'm going to try my hardest because a lot of you guys know that I like my custom content. I'm going to try really hard on not using that much. So I'm going to try using a lot more stuff from expansion packs and everything like that. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. And yeah, I think this door is cool, but it doesn't, I wish I had just like a clear glass pattern. I mean, the stained glass is pretty, but it's not really in our style of what we want. Um, we have a door like this, which is okay. But like I said, I want something a little bit more traditional. Maybe we'll go like with, Ooh. Maybe we'll do like the Insta door and recolor it. Like I said, I know I just said I like doors with windows because it brings in more light. And then I pick a door like that doesn't have windows, but this is what we have to work with. Uh, this is a base game door. And what we can do with it is um, recolor it. We can make it like a really fun color, maybe like a red or a blue, make it like a pop of color. That's one thing I really like doing. If I don't do a door that has windows, uh, I like to do something like this, make it really fun. Uh, so I like that. So that's the Insta door from the base game. Uh, for windows, I actually kind of know what I want for windows. I can't remember what expansion pack they're from, but they're the ones, they actually look pretty similar to the one in the actual picture of the house on the website. I kind of want to go with that. Um, they're like paned at the top only. Um, oh, these, 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 yes. These are from University Life. These look exactly like the windows in the picture. If you guys look at the picture, these totally look like it. Also, I never know whether, like which way to like put the arrows, like to put the light into the house. Is it inside or out? Oh, it's inside. Okay, cool. So yeah, I like this. I think that looks really cool. Okay, so. I like to just do the front of the house first and then move to the sides. Uh, so in the picture, hmm. In the picture, it looks like there's something, it's like a, it's in the middle and it's like one window. Like we could go in and do another one of these, but I feel like that would look weird. So let's see. I think we might need to do like a two tile window. And those are like custom content. Ooh. Oh. Okay, no, what about these? Also, another tip is to keep the windows inside the kind of same family, oh, that looks good. Is to keep the windows inside the same kind of family. Oh my gosh, that totally looks like the window in the picture. That's awesome. This is custom content. It is um, Victorian window, middle single two by one. It's made by Mutsky at The Sims Resource, and I will link it down below for you guys. I really like this though. If you look, these both have panes in them, even though this one isn't fully like paned with the dividers, uh, they have similar looking dividers. And as long as they you know how similar looking, that's what matters. Also, once we recolor them and make them the same kind of color, it will definitely make it look more cohesive. But it really makes no sense if you want like, let me show you. Like if you went and had like, this window, which is a weird window, by the way, uh, this window with this window and we, I th we throw in this window. This is a weird mixture. This is a weird set. Uh, so you want windows that kind of have the same theme in mind and or not the same theme in mind, but the same theme in common, I guess is a better word. Um, cause they will just, they'll look better. They'll look more cohesive and make the house look better too. Uh, for the master bedroom, I think we're going to use these same kind of windows. I don't think we'll be able to do like what the picture is showing. Maybe we'll go in with like the single one, the single tile version of the university life windows. Yeah, right here, these. And put them across. Maybe we, we need to do three. Ooh, that's gonna look weird. Okay. I mean, we can move it over. So it's centered with the door, like 
this, but then the roofing looks weird as heck. Oh goodness, this is gonna give me a headache, I know it. Um, unless we add like another window maybe? Where are they at? Oh. Uh, still like off center though, which means we'd have to move it over, which means we'd have to make the pitch on the roof lower. Let me put move objects on because it won't let me place the window without it. Um, see if we do that, then it's being covered by the roof, which means we'd have to lower the roof line, but that looks better. Don't you guys think? Um, let me see. Let's lower this down. I don't want to lower it too much because I like the height of it. Maybe lower it like that. I mean, it's just a little bit. I kind of like the four windows though. And if we look from the inside, sorry guys, I'm just like trying to figure things out. If we look from the inside, it's perfectly centered in the room. Even though we have like this tile right here, this is perfectly centered. So I think I might keep it like this. Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. But it, like in the picture, it has like this really cool thing above. I don't know if we could do like, I know these are custom content. I'm so sorry guys. But these are from the same set as that other window we placed. Um, so maybe, it, it will be easy to download for sure. But maybe they'll work. Oh, that's kind of cool, but I need to lower it. No. Ooh. Oh, we could do something like this. Uh, how do you flip it? Like that? Oh, that's actually kind of cool though. Oh, and then if you look at the picture of the garage, it has a similar kind of thing above it, so we could put one here too. So then it matches. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, but this is gonna drive me crazy because I wanna like center it better. I mean, I guess that's like the best that we can do, right? We can't put like a third piece. <laughs> Too bad they, oh, darn it. You're like, no, that's stupid. Um, I mean, they have this thing. Let's see, we got that. Let me see. Ugh, this is gonna drive me crazy. I wish that room wasn't like off-centered. I guess that's like the best we can do though. I mean, if you really like at first glance, you can't really tell. I just want like another piece or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, I can change it in the next part if you guys want me to. But yeah, let me know. What does what what do you think of this? Like this. I kind of like it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it sit, let it marinate a bit. And let's go place in the rest of the windows. If you guys look at the floor plan, that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to delete this wall that divides the kitchen that was just temporary. You can keep it like that if you really want to, but I prefer this open concept. It brings in more light and it flows better. Uh, but I mean, it's all personal preference. So we have the sliding door right here. And I kind of, I've been debating about this. This door that was right here, I think I wanna close off this area. I was thinking about it after ending the last part and I really, really wanna do that. So if we just close it in like that. And for the doors in here, I think we're just going to go with the door that we kinda of already have for the front door. But of course, instead of a color on them, I think we'll just do like white doors. That's usually what I like to do. So we'll do that right there. Oh, let me turn off move objects because it's confusing my doors. There we go. And same for the garage door, it needs to be like that as well. I think we'll put in the center. Yeah. And then for windows right here, it says that there's windows, it says there's only one window in the kitchen, which is weird. Um, I don't, that'd be weird to me. Ooh, these might be too low. 
And a really big pet peeve of mine is when people have counters that you can see through the windows. So like when people do like full like ceiling to floor windows and then they have counters in front of those windows drives me crazy because that is so not realistic. Um, people do not have that in real life. Oh yeah. Oh, see, I don't like that. I'm like really picky when it comes to stuff like that. So we might have to change out the windows to counter height windows, which normally I only like to have like two different kinds of windows to keep the look cohesive. But maybe if we can find one that is similar to the style that we have. I think these are too short, yeah. Maybe these. This is kind of like that other window that we have. Oh yeah, we could do that. And I want to do two windows in the kitchen because I feel like just one window, like look at how dark that is. I like a lot of natural light, so I feel like this will help bring that in. So let's go and try to place some counters. It's like a little temporary. Yeah, see that's much better. And if you look into the windows, now it looks good. Um, I think I'll keep the windows like this. I think I like that. Maybe closer. Mm. We'll just keep it like this for now and then we can come back to it, honestly. It's not a big deal. Um, we have the stairs, so we'll hop on upstairs and add in the doors, which we already picked out, make it easy. Um, and also it makes no sense to have like 20 million different kinds of doors in your house. I don't think I've ever been to a house that, you know, looked like that, <laughs> that had like a bunch of different kinds of doors. Um, let's leave the bathroom doors and replace those. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. I really am loving this house. I think it's looking really good. And I'm just really excited for it. Um, these are like little closet doors that open up. And I don't really have anything better for right now. So I think I'm just going to leave them like this, these little doors right here. And then we need to add some windows based off of the picture or like the floor plan. The windows are like two sets of windows. So we'll go back to these and they're like this. That's what, like, that's what the floor plan is showing me, which I actually really like that. It brings in a lot of light. So I think I'm gonna keep it like that. And then maybe for, cause this, this window up here is actually a bathroom window, which is totally fine with me. Like that's not a big deal. Um, even though it's like a big window, people are like, oh my gosh, we can put some curtains there, maybe some blinds. Um, so. We'll have to come around to the side. I'm just going to use the same window for the master bathroom as well. And like I said, we can totally move this around if we need to. If we need to move over here or wherever. Uh, once we place down items and everything, we can adjust for that. And I think I want to add more windows to the kids' room. The parents' room is totally fine with those four windows. I think they look great. Um, I don't know if we should do the double windows. If we do like like this. I don't know. I just like a lot of light in my houses. I kind of like that. Yeah. I think that looks good. And then I also want to go down to the master or not the master to the garage and add some windows in here as well. Cause I feel like, I don't know. Some garages have windows. Other garages don't. I feel like it just looks better with windows and we'll just center it like that. I think that looks good. And oh, maybe this bathroom. We'll just do the same kind of window as the other ones like this. Whoops, this way. Nope, oh darn it. Like that. Yeah, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna leave it like that. Okay, I think we, guys, we have our sp split level garage. We have some windows and we have a roof. We actually did it quite a bit in this part. I know it was a little bit longer than last time, but I'm okay with it. I think it looks good. Um, but yeah, so comment down below. Let me know what you guys think on the house so far. It's really coming together. I'm really excited about it. Um, let me know about what like what this is to you guys. Like, do you guys like this? Do you not? Just just let me know. Um, but yeah, all like the links to custom content and all that kind of stuff will be down below in the description bar. Honestly, for this series, just always check the description bar for anything. I'm going to try my best to keep everything down there. If I forget anything or forget to link anything, just comment down in the description or not in the description, in the comments, comment and let me know nicely if I forgot something and I'll definitely just link it. Link it. Sometimes I forget and life gets crazy and then I'm like, oh yeah, I was supposed to link something. So just let me know. But yeah, so in the next part, I think we'll add some siding and start adding stairs and 
bringing the house more together. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that button down below. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my links to the side. I have my Twitter where I ramble all day. And I also have my other YouTube channel where I make beauty and fashion videos. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.